Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to integrate HubSpot with Avada Forms. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. HubSpot is an amazingly powerful marketing tool and one of the features in the Avada Form Builder is the ability to connect Avada Forms with your HubSpot account and then configure a form to automatically add any form submissions into your contacts in HubSpot. The requirements for this process to work is Avada 7.1 and up and an active HubSpot account. For form integration you don't need to have the HubSpot plugin installed on your Avada website. I have a contact form here and I'd like to add all submissions as contacts in HubSpot. So the first step is to connect Avada forms to my HubSpot account. To do this I need to head to the Avada Global Options, Forms, HubSpot. Here you will find the HubSpot API option where you can select a method to connect to your HubSpot account. You can choose from OAuth or API key. OAuth is our recommended option, but you can choose either method. If I choose OAuth, a Connect with HubSpot button appears. If I choose API key instead, a HubSpot API key field appears, where you can enter your HubSpot API key. There is also a link here in the description, directly to the HubSpot knowledge base, that shows you the steps to find your API key. I'll use the OAuth method for this video. I will just click on the Connect with HubSpot button and a page opens in another tab in the browser. I'm already signed into HubSpot, so here I just choose the account I want to connect to. The account is then connected and I'm redirected back to the global options, which now show me I'm connected. Once you are connected to HubSpot, if we head to the Form Options panel and the Submission tab, under Actions you will find a HubSpot Action option. The two options you will then see are None and Create Update Contact. If you select that second option, a range of HubSpot mapping options will appear beneath it. These will show each form field label and a mapping option beneath it. Just note that mapping to HubSpot contacts will only work for forms with an email field in the form. For each field you want mapped, select the corresponding field in your HubSpot account for it to be mapped to. Fields that show automatic property will attempt to map fields automatically by matching field labels or names, but clicking on this will reveal a drop-down list of both common and other HubSpot fields. And here you can specifically map each contact form field you wish to a specific HubSpot field. At the bottom of the HubSpot action panel is the Preference Consent option, but select this if you want to enable GDPR Preference Consent Handling. There is an option for Manual Consent and one called Legitimate Interest. Now currently in this form I have a checkbox consent field which allows the user to give specific consent. So if I select manual consent, we now get some consent mapping fields. Data processing is the first of these and the choices are always automatic or you can select the field in the email where the user gives their consent. As it says in the description, if you choose automatic, it will only process the data if consent is given for one of the communication preferences. Marketing information and one-to-one -one are the default HubSpot email subscription fields and here you can choose no consent or again select the consent field from the form. But it's also possible to add other subscription types in your HubSpot account under email subscription types. These are then imported to the HubSpot form settings in Avada when HubSpot is added as submission type. And that then gives you the ability to have one of your own form fields match the subscription type inside of HubSpot so that the user can give specific consent. One technical thing to note is that these subscription types are stored in a transient, so if you do add or change them inside of HubSpot, Avada caches will have to be cleared, otherwise the options can't update inside the form. Now instead, if you have an implicit consent field in your form, like I do now, you might instead choose legitimate interest. And when you do, three different options appear. Legitimate interest preference is the first of these, and here the options by default are no preference, marketing information and one to one. As the description notes, here you select a single communication preference which will be used as the reason for processing the form data. I might choose marketing information here. Form consent is the second option, and here it is on no consent, or you can select the form consent field which has a description of the communication preference. Legal basis is the last option, and here you select the legal basis for the communication preference subscription. The options are customer or lead. Here I might select lead. Ok, if enabling GDR preference consent handling, make sure to seek legal advice for the right settings for you. Once you are done, just save your changes, 
and the next time someone submits the form, their contact details will be added or updated if their email address is already listed in the contacts in your HubSpot account. The advantage of this is that you then have access to the full range of marketing actions for each contact in your HubSpot account. This is a powerful feature for users of Avada and HubSpot, so check it out. To see more about installing or connecting HubSpot to your Avada website, check out the How to Use HubSpot with Avada doc, or for a broader overview, read the Turn Your Avada website into a marketing powerhouse with HubSpot blog post. Okay, this concludes our video on how to integrate HubSpot with Avada Forms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.